Hey everyone and welcome back to the Crypto Lifestyle YouTube channel where I show you my Digen journey and in today's video I would like to show you a new dApp that just that I have just found on BSC which is kind of something new from all the Kingdom Forks that we had. Uh, I actually seen a similar dApp but this one, you know, the TVL is growing, it is getting some attention so I'm going in. If you want to see how it works, watch the whole video. All right, guys, and as usual, before we move forward, remember, none of this is a financial advice. I'm not a certified advisor, so I cannot tell you what to do. Uh, you have to do your own research, figure out this by yourself. What I can say, what I do is I never invest too much. I'm always spreading the risk across many platforms because this high risk, high reward type of stuff. So this this strategy, uh, with this strategy, I can uh, take some profits from these platforms before other people do because this is actually how it works. Okay, guys. So this is a little bit different from the Kingdom uh, games. This is uh, more like tower pizza fork so there are differences we will take a look at the docs in a minute it is audited by Hayes so that's good and it's fresh what more do you want and it doesn't pay too much so it might be sustainable hopefully like tower pizza that would be great because this is the beginning so going in now means that I might take nice profits at, at the end okay so basically this is a economic investment game where you build your farms with sheep that will give you wool okay and by selling the the wool you can exchange it back for BNB because we it uses BNB it's smart contract based it's adapt some centralized application you need some BNB on your wallet for fees etc you might know the drill so and there are elements of the game like village warehouse tracks farms sheep gems and wool the village is a place where the game takes place village can have up to six farms so it's like towers in the kingdom game the warehouse uh, uh, is where all uh, wool from farms comes here and is sent by tracks for sale warehouse can be upgraded to up to five levels which increases the shelf life of wool which means that by upgrading it so paying some bnb to do it you can uh, claim less frequently i uh, usually don't go for that but you can do that here okay there are tracks that deliver wool to stores you can buy more tracks to get more daily profits with tracks, you'll be able to add some extra uh, percentage, so we'll get more dividends, uh, more wool, and you'll be able to sell it for more BNB. But you'll have to pay for the upgrade. The farms, farms uh, are a place where sheep graze, where sheep are sheared, and where wool is mined. After that, the wool is delivered to the warehouse. Sheep, each farm can have up to ten sheep. The more sheep on the farm, the more wool you earn per hour. There is an internal currency to buy farms, so I will have to buy gems first with my BNB, uh, or I can buy sheep tracks to expand the war warehouse. Okay, all that for all that I will have to do, uh, buy gems first with my BNB. Wools is the second internal currency that you can exchange for BNB. You get it depending on the number of sheep and other stuff okay this is the concept so we where you register the game where so you're connecting your wallet you will be given a village and 10 gems for free so there is a free aspect to this game which i think might be very attractive especially to like i know uh countries where you know uh, even a small uh small amount of money can be significant so that's nice and if you have a valid referral address, you will get 20 gems. You need to buy gems. One gems will cost you 
05 BNB to start your first farm to start the game. Each village can have up to 6 farms. On every farm you buy you have a sheep by default and the wool production of your farm starts. You can sell the wool produced on your farm for BNB and you can convert into gems. But if you do directly convert the wool into gems, you will get a 5% bonus, uh, which is simply compounding bonus, okay? Each farm has a capacity of 10 sheep. The more sheep you have, the faster the production of wool will be by buying more farms and more sheep. To upgrade your farms and buy sheep, you need to buy gems and you can get gems with BNB or with the wool you produced. So that's, that's nice that you can like reinvest uh, your earnings to buy some additional uh, tanks, okay, and this is like reinvesting, like compounding, so this might be sustainable, I mean, uh, this might bring some sustainability to the platform. Okay, this is the diagram of how this works, okay, We'll look uh, at the game itself and I will do live deposit of 1.2 BNB, I guess, because that will give me enough gems to buy the the fourth farm. And I want to go for the highest I can uh, because this will give me the highest possible uh, number of wool per hour. Okay, so this is this is how I will do it. So this is the this is how it works so each farm has 10 levels that that's more than the kingdoms and you can upgrade each farm so let's say i want to compound my earnings and uh, that would be the best thing would be to buy the highest farm you can afford so then i can uh, probably with my earnings i can uh, compound every day because this is cheap you know if you're earning like uh 382 wool per hour it would be cheap for you to upgrade faster and earn faster it might be a good idea because this game is fresh i'm not usually compounding but if it's fresh then it might be a good idea especially the i think that uh there are uh referral rewards also in gems but we'll see about that okay so this is financial process and rules uh okay you can uh, with the wool you can convert it to gem one gem uh, will be 100 wool only wool can convert to gem a gem to wool is not allowed plus five percent bonus on converting wool to gem and sell and receive bnb for 100 wool bnb sorry <laughs> sell and receive bnb 100 wool equals to uh, 0.0005 bnb and these are the tracks that uh, you can upgrade so you'll be able to earn more faster okay you can add some extra percentage to your daily rate this is the warehouse this is what i mentioned so by upgrading it you can claim less often the neighbors are the referrals if you use anybody's uh, referral link he will get eight percent in gems and four percent in wool from the from your investment okay so this is how it works and if you get any referrals you'll get some extra rewards you'll be able to upgrade your uh farm or withdraw the wool to bnb and then use only gems to upgrade it you can sell the village so this is like uh emergency withdrawal uh the users can sell village without a time limit and this makes the user no longer receiving profit and exiting the game so the the using this will mean that you will no longer earn but you will get an equivalent of the next five days of the wool amount that you will would produce if you would stay okay these are the links so it's good to join telegram chat or news group just to be updated frequently Discord is very popular right now, so it might be the best place where you can get the best info. Twitter, etc. Okay, and the support is here as well. Let's check the address. It's growing fast, guys. It's 57 BNB. When I checked it, it was the first I checked, it was 10. So there is some potential here. Uh, if we go to Telegram, yeah. It's good that they have this bot that will show you 
oh no the, well, like for this hype you can see all the people going in only 23 members so very early guys who knows you know how it uh, will go i'm going in because it's fresh so for me you know i can accept the risk i'm using only the funds that i can afford to lose and you know i'm going for this one so let's buy uh 2400 gems remember always have some extra bin in your wallet to cover the fees then you know some people are spending everything they have and then they want to withdraw or do compound or something and they don't have funds for that it's enough if you leave like 0.05 bnb now i will wait for the confirmation okay it's already done and yeah 2.4k uh crystals gems and i can buy oh i need to unlock level two that's making my plan more difficult i didn't know that so you need to go one by one that's different from the kingdoms okay let's do that oh the level one also needs to be activated okay some maybe yeah some extra bnb as you can see everything is a transaction so it will cost you something and you need to go by one by one so let's see how far can we go with 2.4k okay so the first farm is activated with only one sheep and the second one let's activate the second one right now okay am i producing something i'm producing five wool per hour okay so actually i'm not exactly happy about this but maybe it's better uh, to so you have to you know, go one one by one it might be better for sustainability i'm not sure okay so yeah now i'm producing 61 per hour still i have still have 2k so i will have to upgrade this farm and then with the earnings if i want to compound i can compound here and here but i'm pretty sure i'm not getting the same amount of wool per hour that i was expecting so whatever still good still it still pays like over three percent per day so that's a lot right okay let's see if this change yeah no, no, 200, 200 240 okay so let's try to upgrade this one but it will cost me 1.8 i don't have that so um, yeah let's let's do this one clever clever <laughs> It's good that I'm doing this live, you know, so you see how to do it. Okay, let's wait a little bit for that. And yeah. I think I'm, for now, I'll wait, maybe get some more gems later on and, you know, just think about upgrading more. If I get like uh, 620 or 720, I'll be able to uh, buy this one okay thank you guys for watching uh i hope that it might be interesting for you remember to subscribe to my channel there is a ongoing giveaway uh, etc thank you for watching and see you soon on my next video